13 hundred hours Pakistan standard time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Rabia Javed. First, the headlines. Prime Minister says government is focused to provide sports facility to youth. Foreign Minister says perpetrators involved in the killing Sri Lankan national will be brought to justice. Pakistan has been re-elected to Executive Council of the Organization for Prohibition of Chemical Weapons for the term 2022-2024. to Talks between Iran and world powers to restore 2015 nuclear deal being held at Vina have been postponed till next week. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says government is focused to provide sports facility to youth. Chairing a high-level meeting on national sports policy and overhauling of sports governance structure in Pakistan in Islamabad today, he said by increasing sports participation, the government is firm in its resolve to tap the huge potential of Pakistani youth. The meeting was apprised of the poor proposed revised structure of the sports and coordination with the provinces for their input in national sports policy. The meeting was informed that Pakistan Sports Board and Constitution has been redrafted after a thorough review and the comprehensive draft has been recorded by not uh, by cabinet committee for disposal of legislative cases foreign minister shah mahmood qureshi says political leadership and pakistani nation strongly condemn killing of a sri lankan national in sialkot in a tweet today he offered condolence to bevered family government and people of sri lanka he said preparatories will be brought to justice. Minister said such acts have no place in our faith and our country. Pakistan has been re-elected to the Executive Council of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapon for the term 2022-2024. The elections were held during the recently concluded 26th session of the Conference of State Parties held in the Hogue from 29th November to 2nd of this month. The Convention of the Prohibition of the Development, Production and Stockpiling of Chemical Weapons and their Destruction is the most successful disarmament treaty eliminating an entire class of weapons of mass destruction. The re-election of Pakistan to the 41th member executive council of the OPCW is a testament to Pakistan's positive role at the OPCW. The reforms, the con confidence of the member state in Pakistan's ability to provide effective leadership and impetus to the work of the OPCW. Third ceremony as a part of honoring those who fought bravely against all odds during 1971 war was held at Malir Garrison in Karachi. Rich tribute paid to the silent members of Bihari community, including those who were part of civil armed forces and erstwhile East Pakistan during 1971 war. Mementos were received by the veteran and their families. Eight deaths and 431 positive cases of coronavirus were reported during the last 24 hours. According to National Command and Operations Center, 47,084 tests were conducted during this period and positivity ratio remained 0.91%. 858 patients are in critical care. Talks between Iran and world powers to restore 2015 nuclear deal being held at Wiener, Austria, have been postponed till next week. The Iranian delegation led by nuclear negotiator Ali Bihari has proposed changes to the text of an agreement negotiated in previous rounds of talks for which the European diplomats have sought out time to discuss till next week. The countries holding these talks with Iran including Russia, China, Britannia, France and Germany. In India, uppercase Hindu men have beaten to Delta man in a Madhya Pradesh state after encroaching upon his land and not allowing him to do farming. The deceased brothers have accused the police of trying to save the killers. This is the second incident of rampant chaos-based violence in India reported in last few days. First day match of the second cricket test between Pakistan and Bangladesh at Dhaka has been delayed due to rain. Pakistan had scored 123 for a loss of two wickets when the rain started. Earlier, Pakistan won the toss and elected to bat. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news officials.